Well, good morning, everyone. Meteorologist Michael Wilhite here with Southern Indiana Weather, bringing you a forecast update here. It is a severe weather alert day around the area. It is Groundhog Day, by the way. And uh, we have a chance for some severe thunderstorms this afternoon, of course. If you want a longer update, a more thorough update, watch the video that I did last night. I dove into the dynamics of why things are going on. Gives you a better idea of that. But this is just your quick couple of minute morning update here. Storm Prediction Center has uh, expanded the the enhanced risk area a little bit more northward not quite as northward as i thought it would probably come but uh, just a little bit here slight risk over for every uh, pretty much all of the area here but enhanced risk right along the ohio river if i switch views here and put it on to uh, another model viewer you can see that enhanced risk does include the evansville metro area cuts through posey county vandenberg all of warwick spencer perry county and then kind of cuts the southern half of uh, dubois and goes down in here into Crawford and Harrison before it curves back. So um, this may, it could still be expanded a little bit more north, but the reality is I wouldn't focus on whether you're an enhanced or you're in a slight risk. The reality is we've all got a shot at severe weather today. Uh, anyway, you look at this, as far as what's going on out there right now, there's not a whole lot of activity going on. We will have a warm front that lifts north this afternoon. As that warm front lifts north, we're going to have extremely warm temperatures today. There might be a few showers associated with it, but that's not the main event. The main event will be out here to our west and will push our way later this evening. Now, what's the risks associated with this? Let's take a look at our breakdown probabilities here. Here is the tornado graphic, tornado probabilities. And of course, as I said, those tornado probabilities, bullseye sort of centered here right over the corner of southwest Indiana and extending down into west Kentucky. Watch my forecast video from yesterday. That's pretty close to where I said that tornado risk should extend. Then the further east you go, the less it gets. So tornado risk is not at nothing here. And the reason why is because we're going to start out with uh, more of a uh, multi-cell kind of mold rather than uh, a, cluster, a cluster mode here, rather than a line of storms. It'll congeal into a line, but not until the later on it goes in. And so that's going to give at least an initial tornado threat if these storms can indeed do organize and start to get firing. So keep that in mind. Wind, uh, the enhanced risk here is in the 30% area. Um, so again, uh, wind 15% for the rest of us here. And then you look at hail, hail's only at 5%. Again, like I said yesterday, hail not a big threat. This certainly can't rule it out, but it is there. Let's time it out briefly here for you on future radar. Here we are this morning, and you can see there's a few showers that will break out as that warm front starts to push through. But watch what goes on, <coughs> excuse me, here really out to our west, and that's when you start to see things more organized this afternoon. Here we are by about 2 in the afternoon, you're starting to see some storms fire out to our west there. Uh, by the time 4 o'clock comes, you're starting to see a line down to our south, but you're still in sort of uh, just a, some small clusters here, and those start to roll through. And by the time you get to maybe about 6 o'clock, You've got a pretty decent line of some showers and some embedded uh, what could be supercells in it. That's what we will keep out for uh, a, uh, for the tornado threat if there is indeed going to be one today. After that, though, it looks like it's going to evolve into just a, a line of storms with a heavy rain threat once the low-level jet kicks in. Now, this is uh, in involving the heavy rain threat a little bit further east than the, than the modeling did yesterday. This is the HER model. This is the highest resolution modeling we have. Uh, high, some of the modeling I was showing you yesterday, I believe it was the ARW I showed you, wanted to take that heavier rain threat more east of Lowell before it started to congeal into a line. Uh, this would be a less of a severe threat, of course, the further you go into the evening. So uh, we'll just have to see how it plays out today, though. But right now, these risks are the way they are. Enhanced risk for a small portion of the area, slight risk over all the area. Tornado probability, certainly not at zero. 10% is a pretty strong probability here. Uh, we will see how these come in future updates. Uh, there's your wind probabilities. Again, there's your hail probabilities. So keep it in, uh, keep that, uh, keep that in tune here today, folks. We'll keep monitoring the radar. We'll keep looking at the SBC updates. They update uh, several times a day, so we'll bring you the latest as they come. But as it stands right now, fairly strong risk for some severe weather tonight. So just have your severe weather action plan in place and keep it tuned here to Southern Indiana weather throughout the day for updates. I'm meteorologist Michael Wilhite. Stay safe and stay with us this evening for continuing updates.